Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are good about opening up about their personal life on their own terms, which is why not much has been said about the couple's one-year-old son, Archie, recently. However, on Thursday's episode of The Late Late Show, proud dad Harry was willing to dish about his little boy. My son is now just over a year and a half. He is hysterical. He's got the most amazing personality, Harry said of Archie. He's already putting three, four words together. He's already singing songs the 36-year-old Duke of Sussex said Archie's first word was crocodile and that one of his daily rituals involves using a gift from his great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. My grandmother asked us what Archie wanted for Christmas and Meg said a waffle maker. So she sent us a waffle maker, Harry said of Her Royal Highness. So breakfast now, Meg makes up a beautiful organic mix, in the waffle maker, flip it, out it comes. He loves it the whole family gets in on it with Harry saying his own waffle order includes a bit of yogurt, a bit of jam on top, a bit of berries, maybe some honey, maybe some syrup. Dot you're glossing over the fact that I cannot for the life of me imagine the queen ordering a waffle maker to be sent to Santa Barbara, Corden joked of the monarch. Dot I don't even know how to comment on that, Harry said, laughing. Archie wakes up in the morning and literally goes, waffle. In addition to sending wonderful gifts, the Queen has also been keeping in touch with her family across the pond virtually. Both my grandparents use Zoom, Harry said of Elizabeth, 94, and her 99-year-old husband, Prince Philip. We've Zoomed them a few times. They've seen Archie running around. Dot Harry noted that while the elderly royals are tech savvy, Prince Philip does have a funny way of ending their calls. God my grandfather instead of pressing leave meeting he just goes, Mayim's abruptly closing the computer, Harry said, laughing. It's unclear exactly when the interview was taped as there was no mention of Meghan's recent pregnancy announcement or of Prince Philip's current hospitalization. ET reported last week that Prince Philip was admitted to the hospital on February 16 as a precautionary measure on the advice of his doctor after not feeling well. The Duke of Edinburgh is continuing to undergo care at the King Edward VII Hospital in London, England. The Duke of Edinburgh remains at King Edward VII Hospital where he is receiving medical attention for an infection, a previous statement read. He is comfortable and responding to treatment but is not expected to leave hospital for several days. Dot in addition to his appearance on CBS The Late Late Show, Harry, along with Meghan, will be sitting down with Oprah Winfrey for a 90-minute special next month. Oprah with Meghan and Harry, a CBS primetime special airs March 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on CBS.